Hello everyone and welcome back to another Thames Ironworks Community FC game, a monumentous occasion as the boys are kicking off their first ever league game today. So let's see how they're getting on. They're facing against Epping Forest Falcons in this Division 4 Corinthian League clash. Uh, getting ready here, linesman going over to the side. Let's see how they fare today. Let's have a look at the team sheet. Danny Charles' partners, Tony Bones up front. Wayne Gittins comes in at the back alongside Liam Sesse. Uh, Charlie Kerr, uh, Charlie Donald, the two Charlies playing on. Uh, Charlie Donald playing right back. Charlie Kerr playing left wing. Um, and let's have a look to see. So here we go. We're ready to kick off now. Monumentous occasion. One second gone. First ever league game for the Thames Ironworks Community FC. We've had a hard pre-season and we've been waiting for this. Um, some of the teams we've played have been a, a, a very high standard. We've taken some beatings. We've got used to each other. Now it's all come together for this as we go on the attack pretty early. Uh, but it's cut out and that's in the number 11. Good tackle there by Glander, but forward by Epping Forest. Played into the channel. Can we collect that? Keeper comes out. Wayne Gittins ushers it. On the right wing now. And there's Donald. Lays it across to Theo. Theo with a smash. Oh, it's gone for goal. Oh, my goodness me. He nearly caught the goalkeeper out there. That must have been 25, 30 yards. That was a brilliant shot. Charlie Kerr. Into Theo. Back to Charlie Kerr. Can he pick it up? Out muscles the 11. Chance to get the ball in now. He does, but it's a poor cross. Oh, Lay back into the defender. By the def oh, he's spilled it, the goalkeeper. Jesus Christmas. Long kick by the goalkeeper now. Defender let it bounce. You shouldn't let it bounce like that. Tony Bones goes in. Defender gets a touch, but Tony's still got it. Can he get a shot across? He does. Across the goalkeeper. Oh, my goodness. He's gone in. Look at this again. He goes past. The defender gets a touch. That defender should have cleared it definitely. Tony takes it on, and I must say this, it was such a weak shot that I expected the keeper to just palm it away, but it doesn't. It goes under his body, and that, ladies and gentlemen, is 1-0 to Thames Ironworks Community FC. The boys celebrate. Tony Bones is the first goal scorer, and he's happy with that one. Look at the boys celebrating. Epping Forest come forward again now. Good bit of play by them. Nutmeg, but Glenda... He doesn't let anyone pass. He's a tank. Bones lays him back in. Good tackle. Bones goes in. Oh, that was two feet there. The defender isn't too happy, and I'm not surprised. He got the ball, certainly, but it was two feet. He put all of his weight into it, and he's about eight stone wet, Tony, so it ain't that dangerous. But if that would have been Ben, it would have broken someone's leg, I'm sure. Free kick now. Into the Thames Ironworks Community FC area. Cleared away. Who's that handsome fella on the side there? I don't know. Uh, Charlie Kerr. Oh, a bit of muscle there. Muscles the 11 off. A chance to lay it out, but it's... Tony's still breathing from his goal. He's, he's, he's very happy about that. Attacking on the right wing now. Donald goes past him. Down a ditch. Pulls his shirt. Thames Ironworks Community FC pick up a free kick. On the right-hand side. Epping Forest again. Play it, trying to play it out from the back. They're trying to build something. Epping Forest. Play it over the top. Goalkeeper comes out. Always oh, come off him. Reflection. He's got to score. Oh my goodness. He's hit the post. He had to score there. The goal was open. Goalkeeper was out of position. Bouncing all over the place like a pinball. Tony Bones. Oh, Nutmeg's the goalkeeper. Nutmeg the defender. I said goalkeeper. Nutmegs the defender and absolutely smashes it bottom right. That is a brilliant goal. A brilliant touch for him. Look at this here. Plenty of space. Plenty to do, though, at a tight angle. Nutmegs the defender there. Sends him up the shop and then smashes it past the goalkeeper. And that's 2-0. And another. This is a good start from the boys here. Charlie Kerr. Can we make it free before the half-hour mark? Bones plays a good ball in. Oh, was that a foul? I'm not sure. Danny Charles, he's, he's calling for it, but I'm not sure that was a foul. But Epping Forest come forward again in the midfield. Ball over the top. 
They're not having much luck over there. Gets a shot away, well wide. I'm not sure whether that was a shot or a cross, to be honest. Donald, Theo chests it into the path. Epping Forest, oh, he tried to overhead kick there, Charlie Donald. He didn't come off, he didn't connect with it at all. Epping Forest come through now. Poor header from the midfielder. Glander brings it away. Forward to Charlie Kerr. Charlie Kerr plays it up the wing. Tony Bones smashed off of him, and that's got to be an Epping Forest throw, surely. And they're coming forward with purpose here, Epping Forest. Bit of space on the right-hand side. Liam comes across, makes a tackle. Important foot. And great block in there from the defence. Snuffs out Epping Forest. They haven't had much Epping Forest. Um, and what they have had, the defence have dealt with very, very well. Here's Bones now. Coming up the left-hand side. Does well. Goes past the number eight. Gets a cross in, but that's wide. And to nobody. Epping Forest now. Played into the 23. Oh, good football here. One, two, zero, whatever the place. Smashes it. Oh, what a goal that is. That's a great little goal. That was a great little bit of play there. We have a look at the replay. Played one, twos all over the place. Found himself in a bit of space at number four. Could the goalkeeper have done better? Possibly, but it was a good strike anyway. I think that'd be a bit harsh on Dave to say he could have done better than that, but they're back in it, Epping Forest. They haven't had much, but... Tim's Ironworks have been all over them, but they've got a lifeline now. Can they get an equaliser? Half-time whistle blows. A great half from the lads. Let down a little bit at the end, but uh, they won't be too disheartened by that. Great start to the league. And look at that handsome fellow on the right again. Let's hear from the manager now. Good half of football, lads. Just, just switched off at the end there. A little bit in the middle. Got What's caught. That? Switched it's off, but it's football's hard really good. Ben Theo, sometimes it's a little bit simpler. Sometimes. But when I play simple, people screaming. So no, no, don't. Right we said play simple. <laughs> I say, if, if you think that the out ball's on, yeah. go with it. But if Ben's screaming for a simple five yard pass and it's on, try to play some of your heads down. I'm still 2 1 up, I'm still playing good football. You know, you're going to concede goals, that's football. Don't worry about it. Just go back out there and stick another one in the net. Just keep doing what you're doing. Like I say, just keep moving the ball a little, little bit simpler at times. We're playing some nice football. Just keep it going and it'll come. Straight into it now, 54 seconds in. Epping Forest come forward, they're looking for an equaliser now. They'll be well up for it after getting that goal, but Dave sees that out. Getting that goal just before half time would have really stimulated the Epping Forest players, but played up the ring again. Thames Ironworks looking to get a third. Bill does well, but the defender ushers him out brilliantly. Oh, we dove. <laughs> what happened now? We sent him to the shop. Centre midfielder comes forward. Ooh, that was close. Plenty of bodies forward there for Epping Forest. There's Charlie Donald doing a brilliant job at right back, I must say. Glander, his boyfriend, sends him over. Charlie Donald again. Not only have they formed a great friendship, Charlie Donald and Ben Glander, they've also become lovers in the process. Wayne Gittins. Plays it back into Bill. Oh, brilliant little bit of play there up the wing. Can't see where the ball is because of the crowd. But the ball comes across. Straight across to Greg. He's had a strike there. Oh, that's unlucky from Greg Hobbs there. Not known for his uh, shooting prowess, but he had a great strike there. If that wasn't blocked, I think that was going in. Free kick on the right-hand side. There's Theo. He can do bits, this boy. Shoots from the free kick. Oh, I tell you what, that weren't far away at all. Al thought it was in. You can hear the, hear the cheer in the background now. And that weren't far away at all. Here's Donald. Over to Morden. Flicks the ball up. That's a brilliant header. Oh, what a header that is from Liam. Great cross from Lukey Morden. And Liam, the big boy, Sess. Look at this. Over to Morden. Poor first touch, but he does brilliantly with the cross. And look at Liam coming in. Behind the defender, puts it back across the goalkeeper. And I'll tell you what, kids, if you're looking at this, that's how they the ball. He's one of being one of our best players in pre-season. Look, he's absolutely ecstatic with that. He don't know what to do with himself. And the boys, you can really see that they're really coming together. Here we go. 
Lukey Morden back on the right hand side. 3 1 today, the Ironworks. There's Charlie Donald looking to kill this game off now. Leaving Epping for it. Falcons behind. Luke Morden has a strike. Oh, good strike, but the goalkeeper's equal to that one. He hasn't had the best of afternoons, a goalkeeper, but he was equal to that one. Now come forward. They, they want to reduce the deficit, Epping Forest. They, they'll feel that they've been a bit hard hard done by. Thames Ironworks ain't really taken many chances, but here we go now. Flicked up towards Bones. He's in space, not offside. Brings the ball down. Brilliant turn by him. Oh, he's tugged back. Oh, the keeper. The referee's given a penalty for that. I'll be honest. I'll be honest. I didn't really see it. Let's have a look at that again if we can. So he goes past the defender. Brilliant turn. He's away from him there. Oh, there wasn't much in there. A little tug on him, but he got his shot away. Maybe it did hinder him. Good, brave refereeing. So he comes up to take it for a hat-trick. Tony Bones. Inexcusable, son. Inexcusable. You can't miss penalties like that. Throw on now. Open Forest Falcons. What a goal that is! From the number seven, I believe it's the number seven. Throw on, headed out by Ben Glander. And I tell you what, look at this for a volley. Bash, number seven. Perfect technique right across the goal. There's no goalkeeper in the world saving that one. That was a perfect goal. And I'll tell you what, the boys are going to be nervous. Last final eight minutes, they're going to be nervous because Epping Forest Falcons, they haven't really deserved the two goals and to be that close. I think Thames Ironworks should have been well across, across the line by now. But I'll tell you what, they're not. And if they concede another... They're going to be feel hard done by Thames Ironworks. Headed away. They're looking for an equaliser up in Forest. Flicked up the lot, but Charlie Donald gets that away. There's Curtis now. Oh, see you later. What a touch that is by Curtis. Can he finish now? This will be one of the best goals of the day if he does. Saved by the goalkeeper. But comes back to Curtis. Soft sh Oh, my goodness me. Do you believe that? The goalkeeper's had an absolute shocker today. But look at this touch from Curtis. Bosch. Ta-da. Through the legs. He's away. I'll tell you what, it's going to be tough to score from here, but if he had, that would have been one of the best goals of the day. It's unfortunate. Comes off the goalkeeper, bounces over the defender's head. He tries to commit himself. Can't do it. Curtis, with a weak shot, I must say, has gone right under the goalkeeper's hands. But do you know what? Curtis won't mind that one. It's a goal. Oh, look at that celebration. Little baby rocking. Congratulations to Al, who's just had a little baby. He's on the bench today. Probably hadn't had much sleep, to be fair to him. But I'll tell you what, the boys done brilliantly today. They have a shot from the halfway line. Oh, what the heck is fucking Dave doing? He's given them a chance. They could come back. Could it be 4-3? No, they've wasted the chance here. I don't know what the... What was Dave doing? Jesus Christ almighty. Can't be long left in this one now. Wasn't too many stoppages in the second half. I'll tell you what, 4-2. The boys done really well in this game. They won't mind how the goals come. They was Two of them were very weak. Two of them were really good goals. But I'll tell you what, this is a momentous occasion for us. Three points on the board if we can hold on to this. And there it is, the final whistle. Three points on the board. The boys, they've got to be top of the league unless any, anyone else got uh, any more goals than them. Uh, at this moment in time they'll be top of the league um, let's have a look at the league table now as it stands oh we're second we're second in the league a lot of big games coming up there's the, the fixture list for the, for the games coming up thank you very much for joining us uh, for this Thames Armworks Community FC first ever league game thanks very much for your support everyone that's contributed everyone that's bought shirts everyone that's watched this video uh, you're all as much as a part of the club as the players on the pitch thank you very much once again for joining us join us again next week for the second league game I've been your commentator Nicky Hawkins one thing left to say come on you Ironworks <laughs>